Hi everyone, Dave here, Derby Train fan. Just recently I've been building a new station on the layout to replace my very bad first attempt. So I thought today I'd share a few images that I took during the construction so you can see how I did it. Straight away you can see the old station platforms are far too short. The track layout was, well, a bit odd. And to be honest, the Hornby Terminus roof canopy kit just didn't cut it. So it all had to go. Before I could start the main build, I needed to remodel the track layout at the western end of the site. This would then give much better track alignment with the new longer platforms. And at the same time, I decided to put in a retaining wall against the right hand side embankment, giving more of a cutting feel to the area. So with the new track alignment and the longer platforms uh, well underway, I needed to work out what height the new station would sit at. And to be honest, I was pretty governed by the granite stone arch bridge that you can see here on the left hand side, as this would be carrying the new high level roadway past the new station. Using some softwood planed timber strips and some three mil hardboard, I made the main retaining walls either side of the tracks, transferring the levels across as I went. I was waiting for the glue to dry on the two outer retaining walls. I set to work on marking out where the centre support beams would be on the island platform. I bought some 3D printed girder beams off eBay, so I laid those out which allowed me to get the spacings exactly right. The next job was to extend the far platform shown here in the picture. I did this using strips of 3mm hardboard built into a frame and glued down. I added uh, brick paper to the front of the platform uh, 3mm hardboard was used for the top of the platform and once it was all ballasted up against it all blended in quite nicely. So it's some time later and quite a bit of uh, brick card and stone card finish later um, it's starting to take shape. To add some authenticity, I used some plastic profiles available online to create the girder beam shown here in white. I made the removable top out of 9mm MDF. Now I'm not a fan of MDF, especially in uh, attic spaces where it gets cold and, and sometimes damp. But as long as you've got enough supports, then there shouldn't be any problem. So the MDF was painted in a road grey colour, both on the underside and the side that you see. And as I mentioned earlier, I made it removable so that you could still get inside the station if needed. The stairways that the passengers use from the station building down to the platforms I made out of plastic Hornby footbridge kits. Um, I bought two kits, second hand, online, and pulled them apart and made some stairways. Now there's still a fair bit of work to do um, up on the high level. Uh, the station building is in, in place uh, alongside the small car park there. There's plenty of detailing still to do up here. Um, the rough layout of the bus depot is in, um, there's lots of line markings to do and, and various other bits and bobs. You can see from this image that there's a join in the board um, going along the street there. That's where the actual board is removable, so the buildings themselves lift off and then the board lifts out which gives you access into the station, but still, still a fair bit of work to do up here. So there you are folks, that's how I changed my original poor station into a high level, much larger station 
which I have to say I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I'm certainly no expert and I'm absolutely sure there would be things that I could do better next time. But if you've got any comments or thoughts, please let me know in the comment section below uh, and I'll answer any questions that I get through uh, as well. In the meantime, I'll leave you with a few pictures from in and around the station. So enjoy and take care, everybody. Thank you.